It's the news are live on TBP TV, sponsored by TBP Professionals Institute. I'm Obidumbie Ama Achere. In the headlines, Mahama won't debate Baumia to revive his failed career, Isaac Adongo. 13 alleged Galamseyes remanded for mining in Jimura Forest Reserve. Now, the news in detail. A ranking member on Parliament Finance Committee, Isaac Adongo, has stated that the flag bearer of the National Democratic Congress, John Dramani Mahama, would not debate the flag bearer of the New Patriotic Party, Dr. Mahamudu Baumia, to resurrect Baumia. Baumia's failing career, marred by perceived dishonesty and incompetence. This comes after the majority leader, Alexander Afenyo Markin, challenged Mahama to debate with Baumia, saying it would be an opportunity for Mahama to expose the government's failures. However, in an interview on Eyewitness News on CTFM, Adongo countered that Baumia has failed as vice president and lacks credibility due to his perceived dishonesty. Adongo questioned why Ekufuado avoided debating Mahama in 2020, asking if it was due to Ekufuado's lack of preparation or fear of being exposed. He challenged Baumia to meet the press, as Mahama has done, to account for his actions instead of seeking a debate to revive his career. Moving on, the Inkaria Secured Court has remanded 13 alleged illegal miners for unlawful entry and mining in the Jimura Forest Reserve at Amangwase in the Etrima Impuano district of the Ashanti region. The miners have have been accused of mining in the forest reserve, which is currently undergoing afforestation. Compartment 18 of the Jimra Forest Reserve, according to the Forest Services Division in the Encaria District, is undergoing afforestation under an agreement with a private developer. However, illegal miners have recently invaded the area in search of gold deposits, hindering the success of the afforestation efforts. Inhabitants of Amangwasi mobilized and teamed up with Forestry Commission officers, leading to the arrest of 13 illegal miners. The miners have been remanded into police custody to reappear on August 6, 2024. In other stories, Finance Minister Dr. Mohamed Amin Adam has announced that the government has approved an additional 1.5 billion Ghana cities for settling unresolved claims associated with financial management companies. Furthermore, he revealed that the government has given the green light for the development of a structure for the re-implementation of road and bridge tolls in 2025. These announcements were made by Dr. Adam in Parliament in Accra on Tuesday during the presentation of the Media Fiscal Policy Review for 2024. He also mentioned that the government has approved the operationalization of the integrated property tax system and the amendment of the Fiscal Responsibility Act and reinstates the numeric threshold that was suspended in 2020. To end the news, a recap of the headline. Government to reintroduce road tolls in 2020 Amin Adam. The news was sponsored by TBP Professionals Institute. I'm Obidumbie Ama Achure. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to our channel.